What is up everybody, Hagen today. Today I'm going to be explaining a little bit about hunting pressure. Okay, so a question I see a lot, especially from newer players to the game, is what is hunting pressure? It's a very different concept, you don't see it in a lot of games, but hunting pressure is sort of the idea that there is pressure and animals are not gonna to want to come back to an area where you have sh previously shot animals, okay? So hunting pressure is made when I shoot an animal. You ever seen that purple stuff that pops up on your map after you sh harvest an animal or after it dies? That is hunting pressure, okay? It generally pops up after you, the animal dies, okay? And it's this little like purple circle, okay, that pops up. And it varies in color depending on how many animals have been shot there. So like this bright, bright pink here has, I think I've shot probably three animals in that off the ground, okay? Bright hunting pressure. Over here, it's a little bit duller. Probably only shot one in that area, okay? And then maybe two or something here, okay? That, uh, it's just the idea that animals aren't going to want to come back to that area as much after you have killed a bunch of animals there. And if you're not careful and you shoot too many animals out of an area, they are not going to come back. Those zones will be erased, okay? Now, one way to manage your hunting pressure is by using a tripod, a tree stand, or a ground blind, okay? That is one way. And these decrease the amount of hunting pressure by, twenty. Uh, I think it's 75%. So you only produce a quarter of the amount of hunting pressure. So instead of only having to shoot, instead of only being able to shoot three animals before I delete a zone, I can shoot 15 animals before I delete a zone. Okay, fantastic for grinding. Now, recently with the Teoro update, um, EW put in something where bows also only produce 25% of the normal hunting pressure, which is a big thing for bow hunting. It really ought to help make that a little bit more popular among the player base. Um, but yeah, so those are ways to manage hunting pressure. Also, just don't don't shoot a ton of animals in the same place. That that hunting pressure is going to take a long time to erase. And the only way that you can erase hunting pressure is by creating hunting pressure somewhere else. So the only way to get rid of my hunting pressure over here is to create hunting pressure somewhere else on the map. Now, this is a useful little tip. So let's say you were hunting around, you got attacked by a pack of wolves, and you killed five of them in an area. And you want that hunting pressure gone, but you don't want to create a ton of hunting pressure elsewhere. Just go around on the map and shoot a bunch of animals out of tripods or with a bow. And even though you create less hunting pressure, you take away the same amount of hunting pressure on other parts of the map as you would if, if you just shot an animal with a gun off the ground. Okay, you understand where I'm going with that? So I think I'm really quickly going to demonstrate on this Ibex right here the difference between the hunting pressure on the ground and in a tripod. So we're going to shoot this guy out of the tripod and just smoke him. And when he dies, we should see hunting pressure pop up on the map. See? It's a very dull circle. Okay. But let's get out. And actually, I want to make sure I'm zeroed right. Give me just a second to get the hunting hood back on and we'll go to the map and see the I think there was an ibex up in that area somewhere Let's see if we can spot her she was right up in there I don't know there, is she maybe behind one of those bushes because she was up in there maybe is did we spook the one over there looks like we spooked them all huh all right then well, I think we'll have to go to maybe another lake because I'm not seeing any other Ibex here. I was going to say I was going to show what the hunting pressure looked like when you just shot an animal off the ground with a gun. Oh, no, there they are. Okay. All right. So we're just going to shoot this one off the ground with a gun. Okay. And if we just take that and we'll drop her, she's dead. Look at the difference in the color of the hunting pressure, okay? Now, this is a quarter of this. So if I shot two more here, 
I would be at the max amount of animal shot before I could delete the zone. If I shot three more right here on the ground, I would delete that drink zone. But if I shot um, 14 more over here out of the tripod, I would not delete that zone. Okay, that is the best thing about the tripods, tree stands, ground blinds, and bows. You don't create the same amount of hunting pressure, but you still take away the same amount. You, you understand? So hopefully this video has helped you just kind of get a general understanding of what hunting pressure is and how you can lessen your impact by not creating so much that it's you basically just take all the animals out of an area and never see them again. So hopefully this video has been helpful for y'all. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time.